اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to introduce R and R Studio. Now, once you have downloaded it, you will see this particular layout as we explained in the last session. You will have console here. Here you can write your code. Here you will have all the packages, plots, files and different help documents. Here you will have your environment, history, connections and other stuff. And we are going to look into each one of them as we go along. So what is packages? This is very important in relation to R. R includes a number of pre-installed packages containing many of the standard functions and algorithms you will use in your statistical computations. Now examples of such standard functions are mean, standard deviation for calculating the mean and standard deviation respectively, or LM for generating linear regression models. Linear models. This is the linear model function for generating linear regression models. While you should be able to fulfill much of your computational needs with the standard packages bundled into R, you might need to install additional libraries and packages as well. Such software libraries are bundled as packages. So a number of different libraries, when combined, they create packages that when installed, add a new range of functions and operations. Now, some of the popular packages include like this ggplot or in our case, we are going to use the package sem in R to run PLS SCM in R. Now, the packages can be installed from the command line or they can be installed from the packages tab. Note that you will need internet access to install the packages. Now, where do you install the packages? You can either go to tools and install packages or you can click install from the right bottom dialog. How do you do this? So let's say we need packages. We go to packages and click install. Let's say we need a package called Lawan. So let's click here and press install. So the package will be installed for you. Otherwise, you can install the packages using this command as well, install.packages and then in the bracket, you can mention the package. Or you can go to tools and install packages and here you can write the package name. This is how you can install different packages with different libraries in R. Moving on. And this will take some time to install. So let's move on. Now let's say we want to install this package swirl for help. Now this actually teaches you the R programming language. In order to install it, we can use install.packages function. How to do this? Just write install.packages and then you can mention the package like this. Let's do it. If you go back here, let's say install.packages and in inverted commas, write SW i r l and then just simply press enter and it will install this package look at this here now it's installing the package package swirl successfully unpacked and md5 sums checked now the package has been installed in order to install sem in r just go to install write sem in r in my case it's already installed you just need to press install and it will install in your system moving on now that the package is installed, note that the packages are installed to the local software library on your computer, but are not loaded into R Studio local environment. Once a package is installed, it will be available for computation in R, but has to be loaded by using the library function. It's not automatically loaded. You will have to use the library function to load the package. Packages must be loaded in each session if you wish to use the functions in the library. Now, you need to load library whenever you are running a SEM in R code or any other code. If the package is not loaded in a new session after opening and rerunning R, the features will not be available. Now, let's say you are running the code that is defined in this library, but you haven't loaded the library, your package or your code won't run. 
Now let's say how do we load the swirl package into the environment. I have installed on this package but now I want to load it so I can use the functions. Just simply write library and swirl. How to do this? Let's say we write here in this script file library here and in the bracket let's write swirl and we can select this or let's run it. Now the library is loaded and it is giving you some instructions. Read the instructions and you can use this library to learn R. Let's say we write here swirl and let's press enter. What shall I call you? Let's say call me forward. That's your cue to press enter to continue. Let's press enter. Now, do you want to continue, proceed and let's get going. Let's say we select one and we press enter and just keep following the instructions and it will give you guidance on R. Now let's explain the syntax since it's a programming language. So there is a syntax involved. A syntax is the basic grammar of a language. So what's the syntax of R? Now throughout these sessions in the presentation and on tutorials on the website, it will be necessary to discuss various elements of the code when explaining how to perform analytic operations in R. Now code will be presented separately in bold and with different colors. Tables provide a summary of the syntax like this. So your code objects and functions in the text. This is different. This is a function and this is different objects. Now the arguments like this. Now there are these are the construct names. These are the comments. So what is a comment? We are going to look into this as well. Now this is obviously different objects. So whenever there is a code, it will be highlighted differently in the text. So you do not have to worry about how will I differentiate the code from the text. Now this is a sample code for R. Now here we are defining the measurement model. Here we are defining the structural model. But now it is very important to note what is measurement model? What is structural model? What is SEM? Now there is a detailed video on what is SEM, what are structural models, what are measurement models on the channel. I'm going to share this video as well. It is very important that before you move on and start doing a SEM analysis in R, you understand the basic concepts of measurement model, structural model, constructs, variables, bootstrapping, and all these necessary details. Now, what is a code? What is an argument? Because we are going to use these terminologies again and again. What's a code block? What is a function? Now, these are the terminologies that we are going to discuss or these terminologies will come to light as we go along. So we first need to understand these basic concepts. So some basic concepts. What is a code? Now code that is short form for source code is a term used to describe text that is written using the protocol of a particular language. Now this is the code written in R. What is an argument? An argument is the way you provide more information to a function. Let's say you are calling a function. Let's say your function is composite or any other function that you are calling. So you need to provide certain information to that function so that it can execute its process. Now that information that you provide to that function is your argument. What's a code block? A set of code is a code block. Now this is a code block. This is a code block. This is a code block and this is a code block. Now, what is a function that takes an argument that takes some data and run some analysis for us? Functions are self-contained modules of code that accomplish a specific task. Now they are designed to perform a specific task. And what you do is you just provide them with maybe a certain argument and then taking on those argument, they provide a certain function or a certain task. You are going to look into all this in greater detail as we go along and you will be able to easily differentiate between all of them as well. For now, it's better just to have an idea as to what they mean. So let's explain the syntax. 
The code block below also includes comments that describe the purpose of the following line of code. Comments are not run by the programming language. Now, sometimes what we need to do is when we are writing a code, we need to include or we want to include certain instructions as to what the code does. Now that code or that writing or that, that description, we do not want to run that description because the language doesn't understand that description. So those descriptions are referred to as comments. Now look at this. What is this code doing? This code is creating a vector of integers. So this is how you write your comments in our language with the hash sign. When you want to describe a particular line of code, you write a comment that describes the particular line of code as to what it does. So writing our scripts, computational analysis are conducted by writing a series of instructions to the computer on how to import data, modify data, run algorithms for analyzing the data, and then report the results of those analysis. Now, everything that you used to do in smart PLS by just dragging and drop, you have to do it by writing the code, but it's very easy. It might sound difficult, but it's really easy. Now, these instructions take the form of R scripts. That is your script file, which contains all the scripts related to a single analysis or computation. It's just like your project file or your model in Smart PLS. Now the R script file have a suffix dot R and are stored in your project directory. Now, how do you create a project? How do you create an R file? I'm going to tell you. To successfully conduct such analysis, you need to learn the form and function of the scripts that R can possess. In order to perform the analysis adequately, you need to learn how to structure and format the R code. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to give you a number of examples and I'm going to repeat the code and its functions repeatedly so that it sinks in and you absorb how the R code should be formatted to get your desired results. A key reason for using a free open source software like R is the community support and resources typically found for such software. As mentioned earlier, there is a lot of support for R. Now, where is this support? One of them is the soulstats.com as I earlier showed you as well. Now, obviously you can load this library and start learning. Now, in addition to this, you've got this website here where you've got all the textbooks and different textbooks and resources. So if you want help in R, it's particularly easy. And here is what you can get help on. You get the description of the library or the function that you're using. You get its usage, you get the argument that it takes, the function, you get the examples on how to use different functions. And all R packages have a range of files that are designed to document and demonstrate the use of the function they provide. These files take the form of R documentation, vignettes, and demonstration files. Now, how do you get these documentation, demonstration files, or vignettes? Now, in order to do this, what you need to do is just simply go onto your R IDE and simply write R provide a question mark before what you need help with. In this case, let's say I need help with this read.csv function. So there is a question mark and after that we write read.csv. How to do this? Let's have a look. So what you need to do is just add question mark read.csv and let's select it and let's run it. And here is your help file for read. Now, here's the usage, here's the CSV file with examples, here are the arguments that it takes, here are the details, here's the memory usage and everything that you need to know with examples. So this is how you can get help with regards to different functions or packages even. Let's write question mark sem in R and let's say I select it and I run it. No documentation for seminar in specified packages and libraries. You could try double question mark. So let's go here. Sem in R. So here it is. Sem in R. Vignette. Just click here. And here it is. 
developed by Somyare and Nicholas Tanks. And here is all the help that you need for SEM in R. Now moving on. Vignettes, obviously they are all purpose user guides. You can get them in your R studio. Just simply type in vignette or obviously when you want the vignette for SEM in R. Now moving on. This is how they look and we saw just that earlier as well available in the help. Now there are other ways to get help. Obviously you can search for demos as well. If you're looking for demo in particular uh, for a particular data set, here it is. Here is how you write it in your obviously R studio. Just select it and then run it and you will be able to get this particular model. Now again, there is a website stackoverflow.com and you can use this as well. Now again, if you want to know further or read in detail, this is a very good read and it is open access. Thank you very much.